let's let's talk about that too. Now, but first, I want to ask you about the sort of the console war because you're a guy that people always look to for sort of the inside scoop on you know PlayStation 3 versus Xbox 360. Now we're seeing good PS3 games here. A lot of people are saying they don't look like there's a big delta between them and the Xbox 360. Do you think I mean is PS3 going to be more powerful than 360, or do you think that's that's what it is? Well, the situation's not something that has the nice simple answer like that because the truth is the PS3 has more peak performance on there and. That's what Sony was looking for on there, right. with the choices that they made in the cell architecture in particular, and to a lesser degree, some of the, the video uh, chip decisions on there. Right. It gives it more theoretical power, but what's going to matter is what you wind up delivering on the game. And I do think that Sony made a less optimal decision than Microsoft from the perspective of the game developers. Because yeah. Microsoft chose to have symmetrical CPUs, have less of them, but you can program them all the same way. And Sony way. has this weird sort of cell architecture, which there's been a lot of PR about, but it's very difficult, I hear, to program, right? It is right? symmetric, where you have one processor with dual threads that are symmetric on there, where you do most of your work, but then anything that you want to spin, spin off to the cells, you have to break up into these small nuggets of work right. and use a different compiler, different tool chain for it. So bottom line, you think it was a mistake for them to go that way? I do. I yeah. think that the reasoning that somewhat saves them is Sony has the dominant market position over Microsoft, and they can look at this and say developers are essentially forced to sweat blood uh, right. to go ahead and take advantage of the cell because it's the dominant platform. And they'll win to some degree like that, where there will be developers that pour their heart and soul into this right. and make development twice as difficult as it should be to go ahead and work on the cell. And Sony's hoping that by having this higher peak performance there and having developers that will absolutely sweat bullets over right. this, that Guys they'll get like better you, right? games out of it. Well, we are looking at it. We're not uh, a first-party or even second-party developer on right. here, so we are looking at it across both 360, PS3, and PC. And the great part is, None of these consoles stink. None of right. these platforms are bad. Where in previous generations we could look at it and say some of these things are like, oh, this really is painful. But <laughs> the, the, the Wii, though, stuff, graphics there, I mean, that's, that's not what it's about, right? Yeah, it's a little bit behind. We're not on board with uh, the Nintendo right. side of things right now.